The Perfume Vendor Oh, my place is taken, I see. The other vendors envy me. The perfume merchant, Neroli. Ah, well, it does not matter where. I pitch my little stall for there. I will soon be hemmed about. With buyers, no need for me to shout. Like those who sell their worthless trash, beads and bright shawls, and shout for a place. I have traveled afar to the valley of the Var, the holy river, Arabia, and Peru. I am come home to my scent bazaar, with the rhizome of Iris Florentina, you call it orris root, gum resins, myrrh, opalopanix, tolu and sandalwood, storax, and fifteen ounces of oil of cedar to boot, otto of peppermint, lavender, and rose. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen in procuring this stock of civet and ambergris. Two months ago or more I went at a grand madame's bidding to find out if the musk had lost its scent. Well, it has not. And here is a bouquet I have compounded her of oris civet musk and jonquil and lavender, Neroli's Narcissi bouquet. I shall sell a lot of this, 63 shillings per ounce fial, a very fine array of cut glass bottles for grand ladies no cheap mock perfumes on my shelves i keep upon my silver scales i weigh my oil and essence olibanum and bouquet ben neroli ben neroli will you please allow me to dip my little fingertip in the jasmine bowl the jasmine bowl god bless my soul they do not seem to realize that scent belongs to paradise I give nothing away, but I hope they note the perfume of my heliotrope. I talk to myself, yes, yes, I find, that many scents obscure the mind. They say that when poor old Neroli dies, he'll mutter perfume praise in paradise. Ah, well, some lives are like the files of scent I sell, until the holy grass is crushed, who knows what it can tell. Carefully those little drops of attar I have measured, exhaled from what the waiting grass had tasted and treasured. On St. John's Eve, the 24th of June, I watched the fern in solitude an hour, for it puts forth at dusk a small blue flower, which I must gather quickly ere the moon climbs high and the blossoms disappear. See, I hear, is the perfume from the wishing fern, a very slight return, for all my fairy work last year. Good Ben Neroli, whom everybody knows, have you any verbena, wallflower, or rose? For I am in love, and I wish for my shawl one little drop of scent from your stall. O oh, love is like the scents I sell, if sweet and crystal pure, it holds the fragrant loveliness of things that will endure. The grand madame has just bought for me oil of geranium, bay leaf, and patchouli. Her choice is strange. Oh, yes, you know there are some various curious folk in the bazaar. See this sweet child, her weary little feet, falter towards my stall. I greet. Her with the fairy scent I made, on St. John's Eve, blue flowers from the glade. Where the wishing fern grows, frangi pani, and wild white rose. I have known her since, now let me see. On St. John's Eve, her years were twenty-three. And it was twenty-three years ago, last Michael Moss, when first she smiled on the same perfume vendor, Oh, poor child, poor child, the promise of her youth is unfulfilled. Mad as old Neroli, the sharp folks say, t'was love of beauty made her reason stray, or love of love, mad as old Neroli. A jettatrice, a sorceress is she. To me she is like the sense I sell, the promise unfulfilled, will become the fragrance essence of her life in death distilled.